Hello and welcome to another video on this series on getting started with Rust. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up our development environment for Rust using Visual Studio Code Editor. We'll be installing the code completion engine for Rust as an extension and we'll also set up our debugger for debugging Rust code. So with that said, let's get started. So let's go ahead and create a new cargo project by typing cargo new hello rust and we'll cd into the folder we'll open this in vs code so as you can see we have a very basic rust program now out of the box vs code does not provide intellisense like code completion support for rust although it does give you word-based completions so in order to have a much more feature-rich code completion support for rust we need to install an extension so I'll go to the extensions pane and I will type in rust-analyzer and that's the extension we want to install. So I'll go ahead and click on install. So once our extension is installed, we'll close this tab and go back to our main RS file. And here we can now immediately see that we have quite a few changes. First is we have a run and a debug option at the top of our main function and we can click on run and this runs the program in the integrated terminal second we can now hover over code items within the editor and it pops up a window and it provides us with the documentation right within our editor itself which is quite handy third we can now have autocomplete suggestions so let's say if i try to import a module from the standard library i can type use std env and as you can see we are getting autocomplete suggestions right away so these are all the features that rust analyzer provides you and you can also see that we are getting yellow squiggly line which simply means that it is warning us that we haven't used this module anywhere yet so this is a built-in feature from the Rust C compiler about warnings, but Rust Analyzer takes that information and provides you within the code editor itself. And there are quite a few features that I won't be able to cover in this video, but I will definitely link the Twitter profile for Rust Analyzer where frequent updates to the new features are being showcased. So definitely go follow the profile and you can stay updated on that. So yeah, that's pretty much about setting up Rust Analyzer in VS Code. Next, let's take a look at how to add debugging support for Rust. So I'm already in my extensions pane. I'll go ahead and type code LLDB. And that's the extension we want to install. We'll go ahead and click on install. And on the bottom right, you can see that it's now installing the code LLDB extension. So code LLDB uses LLDB as its underlying debugger, which has pretty good support for Rust and works quite well. There are quite a few features which are not supported completely, but it works for the most part. So now that code LLDB is installed, we'll close this window and go back to the main.rs file. And now we can click on debug. And we can see we now have the debug options panel and it also runs the debugger but it exits immediately because we don't have a breakpoint yet so let's go ahead and add a breakpoint on line number five and we'll try to run this again so as you can see this time the program stops at line number five which is exactly where we set our breakpoint so now i can use the usual debug commands right from within this debug pane and i can step into the program I can call step over and I can then also restart and on the left side you have the variables pane which shows you all of the variables and the registry information that you have within this function we don't have any local variable so it's empty here and same is the case with static and globals then you have the register pane which shows you all the registry information and then we have the watch pane which you can use to examine any local variables within the current function so let's say i create a new variable called a and assign it to three and then let me stop and rerun the program 
and let's place back the breakpoint on line number seven again and I'll debug again and this time if I step over the program if I want to view what the value of a is I can I can see the value is three here and then you have the call stack pane which shows what series of function calls led to the current function which is the main function here and then we have the breakpoints pane which has the list of breakpoints that we have added and you can see that the breakpoint that we have set is shown right here and then we have this modules pane which lists all of the libraries that are loaded when this program ran so that's pretty much about uh, setting up code lldb in vs code so hope you find this video helpful and let me know what you think in the comments and i will see you in the next one